Well, right now there's food, fun and music at a sold out socially distanced festival downtown. Brianna Ray Turner is live on your side at James Weldon Johnson Park where Cajun Fest is underway and I'm a little bit jealous, Brianna. <laughs> well, Jeff, I am too because I still didn't eat any Cajun food yet. This line is super long. Look at these two vendors right here. It was longer than earlier. You know, I talked with people as far from um, Atlanta, people coming five hour drives away. Now, um, you know, they have any Cajun food you can think of, um, you know, and a lot of small businesses from around Jacksonville. Most people are just so glad things seem to be going back in the right direction in the pandemic. Great weather for a Cajun festival right here at the James Walden Johnson Park in downtown Jacksonville. Oh my goodness, it is such a difference from last year. We have a festival happening, which is of course not what was happening last year. Everybody was of course, you know, at their home. Friends of James Walden Johnson Park is hosting the event. And Liz McCoy, executive director, says the festival has 10 vendors and three different musical acts. McCoy says they're expecting over a thousand people to attend. And we just want to activate the park with fun things to do and get people out. It's a beautiful day. We've got nice shade. Tanya Stafford is from Atlanta. When her and her husband heard about this event, she said she couldn't miss it. This time with the pandemic, not really having a chance to get out since things are better. We're fully vaccinated, so we decided we would come down for the weekend. And a couple things Stafford is looking forward to at the Cajun Fest. The food. Love Cajun food and good music. So when we were looking for something to do in Jacksonville and we saw that this festival was here, we were like, wow, we could get the best of both worlds. Jack Boilers ran by two veterans were one of the popular food vendors at the event and had a full Cajun menu of anything you could think of. Blue crab, your shrimp. And then we add, and obviously, snow crab, king crab, lobster tail. Owners Jacob Garza and Jatara Scott says their business has been around for three years. And even during the pandemic, they were still on a roll. We hit the round running when the pandemic, we felt like that was when the floodgates opened. Garza says they're excited to serve the community at this event. And by the way, you won't want to miss it. They got everything you can think of, small businesses, Cajun food. Um, again, they um, open at 4 p.m. and um, the event's ending at 10 p.m. I'm live in downtown Jacksonville. Brown Ray Turner, First Coast News, on your side. After King Crab and Lawn